Grandpa Newby reporting for duty with the OG massive cast-off 762, the mainstay horse of the Modern Warfare 2 public stable. But does it hold its prestige in Modern Warfare 3? Let's look at the configuration. 40 round mag. Now I know some of you are thinking, oh, it's gonna slow me down. Well, first, build some muscle. You gotta carry your weapon into battle and you gotta carry the maximum firepower that you can into free for all because you're going to have multiple engagements and nobody's gonna wait while you daintily change out your tiny magazine for another. And when you look at the red, it's really not all that bad, except for empty reload quickness. And the Einsteins above, among you already know that 3.3 seconds is better than many of the SMGs and most of the ARs. Take your 40 rounds, believe me. The grip, Demo X2 grip. Control some of the gun kick. That horse is gonna wanna get away from you. So you need a little assistance in keeping it under your command. Horizontal and recoil, uh, vertical recoil, are both improved. The barrel, take a look at that ADS speed, 239 milliseconds. It approaches SMG ADS speed. You're gonna be quick, you're gonna be nimble, you're gonna be gacking people left and right because you're gonna get your heavy weapon with the 40 rounds up faster than almost anybody on the battlefield. Effective damage is affected, as is minimum damage range. Very small, 6%. And think about it, the cast off 762, the damage ranges are on the high side anyway. You can afford to trade some of that off. Don't get worried about that. Underbarrel, the X10 Phantom 5 hand stop. And anything that says Phantom on it, I like. I flew the Phantom 4. What does that do for us? Little bit of gun kick, little bit of vertical recoil. ADS speed another 7%, and look at the sprint to fire, 194. That is faster than almost every SMG in its standard configuration. That means you're gonna have this cast off beast up and in somebody's face, blowing bullets into their gourd before they even know you're there. Let's go to the field of honor and see what happened. All right, OG weapon and an OG map. So let's take a look at the cast off compared to the MCW. The big thing, fire rate for the MCW and the damage range for the cast off. So I was four points down when they dropped me into those four lives. The kill metrics cast off is better everywhere, about a frame. But I don't worry about what's fair to me. Grandpa Newbie cares about destroying the enemy. So we bebopped around the map. We kind of maintain a four life disadvantage there. When you take a look at the recoil performance, that sort of thing, the horizontal recoil is where the cast off is at a disadvantage, but look at that sprint to fire speed as fast as an SMG. So my configuration took care of some of that recoil and I added to the sprint to fire speed in terms of making it better. So I guess I really took away. Look at Night Cream face there in the corner. There's somebody running from battle. Sorry, ma'am, but your son was shot running from battle. We regret to inform you. I still have my aim too low. I know a lot of you tried to teach me on that. Got to turn around, jump down, turn around, and gack somebody. A lot of times I'll lay down to change out my mag, even though I use commando gr gloves most of the time. With snipers, I will use a quick grip glove so I can change to my secondary quickly. But you can see how fast the cast off for a hard punching AR aims. Oh, wait. get out of that corner. What's he doing? Is he going to set up a tent? There he is again. Night cream face. Whoa. They're running past me. Like we're two ships passing in the dark, gacking each other. There we go. Well, that's the king. I think that's the guy that he runs from one corner to another. 
I, there he is. That's a form of camping, in case y'all don't know that. Let Grandpa Newbie be very clear. Of course, camping's a play style. But in free for all, generally you don't. Oh, you don't win. I saw his shoes. They weren't very polished, but I saw them anyway. There's the king going to his next camping spot. Has his tent on his back. I saw some shots going that way, and I was just lucky. Oh, that's not a Snickers win. Game's over already. Not 30 points. Let's see if we can get a Snickers win. There's some stabbing going on. God, I don't even know what happened there. There's the purple phantom. Moby Grape. We'll call him Moby Grape. He's sniping, which I wish I were doing. Oh, there's a customer. Satisfied customer. Moby Grape. Looks around and gacks me. Let's take a look at that kill. That's worth watching. Whoop, he missed. Got a couple good shots, and then he got me. Beautiful snipe. I was going to a corner. Where's he aiming? Oh. <laughs> well, a lot going on there. Looks like the obligatory knifer. There's two or three of them in this game. Is that Moby Grape? Doesn't matter. Somebody else stuck one in my ear. Have an ear. Let's slow down. Oh, why people get so nervous. Oh. Obligatory. Uh, I'm about to say sniper, knifer. Oh, he's he throwing iron at me. Oh, I better heal some. Well, I guess not. There's a knifer. Grounded him. Took his wings away. Another knifer throwing, throwing lead at me. So, eh, obligatory knifer. So I'm going to say that the cast off is pretty powerful in this game. Uh, I made sure to try to build it past the strengths of the MCW. Frustrating. A knifer chasing a knifer. There's Moby Grape. Uh, I got it to where the ADS movement speed was 3.2, and people just can't follow you too easily when you strafe with it. And the ADS speed at 193 milliseconds is deadly. I mean, you're outgunning SMGs, especially if you strafe. You got to strafe. I'm getting gacked from one side to the other. There's Moby Grape trying to throw a snipe around at me. It's not very friendly. Getting towards the end of the game. I'm behind. My blood pressure is up. But then I remember I'm a fighter pilot, calm, cool, collected. So I controlled that blood pressure. Oh, he's throwing stuff at me still. And I take the lead at the very end, people jumping around. Triple kill going there. There's a win. They must have stepped on a proximity mine. And it's a Snickers win. 30 kills. It's so satisfying. I put on my headset because people were yapping at each other. It was really bad. But anyway, please like and subscribe. Peace and cheers.